All right, Dan and Bernie, thank you very much. Here with Justin Falk and Justin, another victory for this team, seven straight. I know it's kind of easy to, to ask the question, but I'm curious to get your answer. You lose eight straight, now you win seven. What's been the biggest difference in your opinion? I think our compete level has been a lot higher. Um, our, our commitment to the details of the game, and uh, it's not easy. There's never an easy night in this league, and um, just understanding that and, and committing to doing the little things right is, is uh, of huge importance, and, and you know, we, we found our way to start competing more, and, and then the results are starting to come. All right. You do everything out there, offensively, defensively. You have points now in three straight. I think you're up to 14 points on the year. Score your fourth goal of the season here tonight. How important is the offensive side of the game to you? Uh, I mean, we got plenty of guys that can do it, and I, I don't need to be the guy to do it every night. Um, obviously, Kruger uh, leads the charge, I think, in that department, and uh, he does a great job, and uh, you know, he wasn't, wasn't in there tonight, so uh, my number got called, and I was just uh, trying, to, trying to step in and do a job. Um, uh, you know, I, I doubt that anyone would say they don't like points, but uh, we got plenty of guys that can step up. Yeah, you got to like the points. An adjustment without Krug, what's that adjustment like for you? Uh, it's it's different, obviously. I, I haven't played too much with Meeks, uh, so I got out there tonight with him, and he's been playing great hockey. So uh, it was a pretty easy transition. He played well tonight, and uh, you know it's uh, is what it is. It's tough when guys are out, but um, we got six guys in that lineup every night that we're confident, in, and I I don't think anyone cares who they play with. All right, you get the goal early in the game, 11 seconds in, but you guys didn't have your best first period. What changed after that? Uh, we, just, we we knew it wasn't it wasn't good enough, and and. We were able to kind of come out in the second and um, kind of take over a little bit. And, you know, a couple early penalties in the third period gave them some momentum again. And uh, we had to find our way and, and start building a, a game there in the second half of the third period. And um, we were able to. And, and, you know, we have that ability, I think, to to kind of, t I hate to say turn it on because you don't want to ever have to be in the situation where you just say, hey, let's turn it on. But um, to where we can come back from a deficit and, and find our way and uh, step up and commit to it. Right, you've been through this before, finding your way on a new team. A guy like Noel Achari, he comes in, and the way he's been able to impact this roster so quickly, how impressed are you with his play? Uh, he's been great. He's he's exactly what you want of, of a teammate and, and a guy that's going out there every night. He, he works hard. He, he's physical. He, he takes care of the puck. You know, he blocks shots. He's, he's just so committed to being a, a team player, and it's great to see him get rewarded. He's been playing good, and um, you know, he got us going. We're lucky that he got that uh, first one because, like you said, we didn't have a good first, but uh, it was nice to have him uh, get the opportunity to seal it too there at the end. All right, how good is Jordan Bennington playing right now? He's been rock solid. Uh, you know, I, we expect it of him. It's a hard thing to say because you don't put pressure on guys, but um, just because, you know, he's he's so confident and we're so confident in him. And whenever he's in the in the net there, it's a... It's, uh, it, we know that we got something back there that can, can win us a game at any time, and um, we don't want to take our foot off the gas, but he's been playing great hockey. It just makes it a lot easier on us. All right, now you have some big games coming up on the road. How you approach Wednesday night now in Buffalo? Same thing, just we got to be prepared. You know, I think they got a lot of skilled players, a lot of high-end talent, and um, I know they uh, have been struggling a little bit of late, so they're going to look to turn it around, I think, and, and uh, start building some momentum and, and play hard. So we got to be prepared for that and, and just keep playing our game. All right, have a safe trip. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Yeah, thanks, you too. All right, that's Justin Falk, guys. Dan, I know you're thankful for Justin Falk as we send it back to you.